In the digital age we live in, the limelight often shines the brightest on celebrities, CEOs, and so-called self-made billionaires. Outshining the reality that most people worldwide aren't striving to launch groundbreaking startups, secure a leading role in the next critically acclaimed film, or gain over a million online followers. It's easy to become caught up in the allure of extraordinary success, overlooking the significance of so-called ordinary, average, or boring jobs. Despite their ability to offer structure, benefits, and allow us to prioritize other life values. We all have different values, skills, and circumstances in life. Not everyone wants to climb the corporate ladder, launch a startup, or be famous. Once upon a time, I never imagined myself working a corporate job. My dream was to become a hairstylist and eventually own my own salon. Straight out of high school, I enrolled in cosmetology school to pursue that passion. However, after a few years in the field and many days of chronic back pain, I was forced to reevaluate my choices. I had a decision to make continue down the uncertain path of creative pursuits, or opt for a somewhat stable role in the corporate world. I chose the corporate world. And looking back, I can confidently say it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. In the last few years, it's become apparent that many individuals aren't fulfilled in their nine to five roles. A quick Google search will yield varied results, but according to Forbes, over 50% of people in the US are dissatisfied with their jobs. Yes, you heard that right. More than half of the American population isn't satisfied with their jobs. That's a lot of people. Personally, I believe a small part of this dissatisfaction stems from the career path an individual chooses. In a world where the cost of living seems to rise daily, there's immense pressure to pursue professions that promise financial security and a comfortable lifestyle. However, in the pursuit of financial stability, we often neglect to ask ourselves crucial questions. What are we genuinely good at and what tasks do we enjoy doing every day? Just as Proverbs 18.16 says, a man's gifts makes room for him. By recognizing and embracing our unique talents and passions, we can find fulfillment and success in our career paths. Then, there's the extended work hours you cannot manage because of real life obligations, looming threat of performance reviews impacted by outside factors, the risk of mass layoffs, the challenge of fitting into an incompatible team, navigating office politics during the daily commute, and the list goes on. And let's not forget, entrepreneurship and self-employment comes with its own set of hurdles. Financial insecurity, risk and uncertainty, work-life balance and boundaries, managing multiple roles, legal and regulatory compliance, constantly adapting to changing market conditions, consumer preferences, and technological advancements, staying ahead of the curb and innovating to meet evolving needs and trends is crucial for staying competitive. Having experienced both sides of the coin, I can confidently say that even with the bad reputation it has received in recent years, working a so-called boring nine to five is still a good thing. Not all employers are the same and there are still good employers who exist. I've had the chance to work with some. They're the ones who get that flexibility, some cool perks, and a collaborative environment makes all the difference. And I know, not everyone's living the dream at work. It's no secret that some things gotta give. But here's the silver lining. More and more people are starting to speak up. It's like the lid's off and companies are finally taking notice. It's an opportunity for employers to step up and create workplaces people actually want to be in. And you know what? Some of them are really stepping up their game, aiming for those best place to work titles and going all out for employee engagement. Working for any employer is an investment which I feel gets overlooked. You invest your time for money and in the process you gain valuable insights into how businesses operate. From understanding various processes, strategies, and plans to identifying factors that contribute to a business's success or failure. The experience gained from a nine to five is invaluable. Real world experience is unmatched and it provides a solid foundation for those considering entrepreneurship or self-employment down the line. By leveraging the knowledge and skills acquired from your job, you can implement effective practices into your own business model. 
Additionally, some of your compensation from your nine to five can serve as capital for your own entrepreneurial endeavors. And if entrepreneurship or self-employment is not your calling, you can still have financial resources to explore other investment opportunities. Working in a collaborative environment is criminally underrated. It's not just about getting tasks done, it's about being exposed to all sorts of people. You get to see how different people think and process ideas, and trust me, it's eye-opening. Plus, you learn how to deal with all kinds of personalities, from the chatterbox to the quiet thinker. It's like a crash course in human interaction. And let's not forget, understanding people better makes problem solving a breeze and makes teamwork feel like a breeze. So yeah, working the nine to five grind isn't just about the work itself, it's about the people you meet along the way and the skills you pick up from them. Speaking of problem solving, a nine to five helps 10X that. When your day is packed with tasks and your nine to five gig takes up most of it, suddenly you've got to figure out how to fit in everything from grocery shopping to hitting the gym, it's like a puzzle and you have gotta solve it. You learn to prioritize like a pro, tackling the important stuff first and finding creative solutions for the rest. Trust me, it's a skill that comes in handy way beyond the office walls. Also, what better way to find out if working a nine to five is for you or not than by working a nine to five? It's about perspective. It's about recognizing the value and the opportunities it presents. From learning valuable skills to building meaningful connections. Whether you're pursuing entrepreneurship or embracing the stability of a traditional job. The key is finding what aligns with your passions and goals. If you feel capable of balancing both, give it a shot and celebrate your achievements along the way. And if you find it overwhelming, there's no shame in choosing a path that feels easier. Remember, success requires effort and dedication, regardless of the path you take. So nurture your journey, water your own grass, and watch it grow greener with each step you take.